Hey, what's up? If you just seen my last video of Phoenix Room, yeah, this is how to play Tiger Strike Plus. All right, actually got it queued up right here, ready to go. All right, the difference between Tiger Strike Plus and the regular Tiger Strikes, the Tiger colors are different. All right, they got a white one. Uh, white one, brown one, and an orange one. The brown one's the biggest, white one's the lowest. Alright, they still got the same wheel. The difference between this game and that one is this one, they give you a little charge up. Like if you bust something big, they give you like a charge up amount. Basically it, a little bit better on the payout, just a little bit. And they also got a jellyfish. Now, hopefully in this video, because I ain't look at it yet, this is... As soon as I found it, they had it up here. I just went and got it and here to show you guys. But they got a jellyfish. Anytime you pop the jellyfish, the jellyfish is its own separate wheel. You get like a larger electric chain. I call the dragon's fire. You got a gun that just sh shoot random fire. Like how it is on Ocean Monster Game. You got like 30 seconds to shoot whatever and whatever pops you get. You get like a times one, something like that on it. You also get a soccer ball and a treasure chest. Soccer ball just bounce and it blows up like a mini bomb or whatever. Well, any further ado, let's get this started. Cause, ooh, this video is long. All right, I'm gonna try to make this short as possible. Okay. All right, there go the bombs. All right, see that fish now gives you a charge up amount, and they're shooting at this. 60 cent? 50 cent? Couldn't tell, but he got $60. Oh, snap. He got over $100. Somebody else just joined in. So you got one, two, three. You got four people. So this is a highly active table. There go a tiger. All right. I don't think all the tigers are going to be jumping up like that. All right. He paid him $4. He's shooting at five cents. So this table, at least, go down to five cents. He's shooting over there for 50 cents. He got over a thousand? Oh, it's not almost everyone. They go to Big Tiger, the brown one. He got that one for five cents. I like that effect. Now, let's see which one this is. All right, he got the electric chain for five cents. That got him $2.35. And five cents, that's damn good. That's pretty average. If I put in $5, I'm shooting for five cents. Alright, see like how that mini dolphin gave him $20. I can't tell what he's shooting at. That might be 50 or 60. Alright, someone got the ice cube. It frees the whole board so you can waste all your money or actually get something. Majority of times you got something big, you're just wasting your money. What the hell is that fired up tiger? Oh, they got the fire tiger. Okay. All right, he got the board. All right, he hit the jellyfish down there on the side. He got the treasure chest. Now the other guy that's pounding away on the thing, on the treasure chest, he's already at $35, 37, 38. I can't tell on the second. $47, he's probably on the past 60. $63, I called it. Now that whole jumping effect, I'm not used to it. So this is kind of a different table. So I'm just gonna label it the way it's called. But the same as always, you hit forward or back to actually aim at what you want. Now, whatever you push forward to, you slightly rotate it to the left or the right. There we go to Fire Tiger. Wow. I'm betting he's a big one. All right, seems like they're going into a bonus round. Which one is it? Now this is where you gotta crank it up. Go big or go home. Like the amounts that they got, everyone should be shooting at like at least a dollar. Oh, this is the long bonus. This where you gotta kick it up. Especially when it's this many people onto the table, you actually want to just go crazy. Go for something, go for what you know. The fish sometimes pop easier than the tigers itself. So go for it. See, he just said it. Fish went off. He got it. See, he cranked his up. He's at 20 cent now. He was at 5 cent. Now he at 20. Look, he got $20. Oh, somebody actually got a tiger at 50 cent. Look at that. $175. He 
He can't even beat that. Oh my goodness. Now, granted, if you want to really pay attention to how much money they put in, that's a different story. $14. And he's shooting at 20 cents. He got the smallest tiger. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Go for what you know. He got $29. I don't know what he's shooting at. He gotta be shooting for like 30 cents or something down there at the bottom. He's shooting for 45 on the corner. See, look at this. The table's just giving everybody a piece of the pie. This one you crank up and you just go for it. I think I put that in my last Tiger Strike uh, challenge that I actually put out there for everyone. Now, okay, you gotta remember the odds of this. The table has to hold back a certain percentage, so either way the house is gonna win. And they have to give out some tables. The real good tables basically hold back 20% while I give the house 80% of what it makes a day. I will be doing a little bit of Ocean Monster. Ocean Monster is something different. Alright, but the bonus round over and here we go. We're back at it. Now if you actually don't mind going back and counting how much everyone started out with and seeing how much they ended with by the end of the video, take a look. But they're not going to bounce around between numbers. They're just stuck there. There go the wheel. Don't go for the wheel unless a tiger is up there so you can get more for your money. But if you don't mind just popping it without a tiger, you know, get the minimum amount. No matter. But at least, if you like low money, at least bless it with like three shots or whatever. But we're out of the bonus round. So you crank those numbers right back down unless you're feeling bold or you got money like what they're shooting at right now. All right, you got the electric train for 20 cents. I mean, they are just going off. Okay, I guess he just liked to do that jump or whatever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nobody got him, he just crying. But oh, I will slam into the bomb right now with that fire tiger out there. So I'm guessing on this one, the fire tiger is the bigger one. No, he can't be, he can't be. Okay, he was on the bonus round. Oh, 20 cents for that tiger, how much he get? $20 or so? $11. You froze the board with that note and y'all still shooting. What are y'all doing? Okay. Oh, he's still collecting. He got the Vortex. Okay. $33. Oh! Holy, that shit is funny. Another electric chain look like at 20 cent. Alright, see no one's changing their numbers, so it's actually somehow going cold. Now now they're gonna have to keep feeding at that number before it actually give out something again. Okay? Now when you got long money like that, hey, go for what you know. But Smart player, they will actually change up their number. You spend playing that five cent for a while, jump it up to ten or fifteen. Don't be afraid to hit the thirty and forty cent range. All right. I guess they like to do their little pause. Oh, slam into the bomb right now. Anyone? Okay, I guess somebody took a few shots at it. When I got that fish when they was leaving. Somebody got the jellyfish. There you got the electric chain on the jellyfish. Oh, he had 45 cents. Oh, he must have changed his number. No, I think he's been at 45. Now, this electric chain pulls so much more. 
Yeah, that was kind of short, but it pulls so much more than a regular, which is good. He got, what, 40? Can't remember. I think it was $48. Still pretty good either way. I guess he, I guess on this table they got to jump up. Hey, you see me here? That's a little jellyfish that you can make out going by, going to the top of the screen. Alright. And that was Tiger Strike Plus. <laughs> and um, if you have any questions, any more tips you would like to leave, put it in the comments so other people can see it. And if you got any questions, just hit me up. And is there any type of game you actually want for me to review for you? Just let me know. But like I said, these tables, the maximum they can hold out, I have seen is not allowed to my knowledge but i've seen people being as greedy as setting the table to take and be like 50 50 hold 50 and give out only 50. but that's what i've seen and only the good tables will go off like that and you can tell that's a 80 20. give out 80 percent of the money hold 20. now there's another game out there that only holds for the house 11 percent and they have to give out the rest. I have that in my next video. See y'all later. Peace.